Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to do the second update for my Advent Calendar Project Pan. Uh, we've been doing okay on this project. So last update, I only had one of the items completed out of the 25 that this calendar is going to hold for us. But today I've got such an exciting update and I'm very thrilled to be able to share the progress that I've been making with you guys here today. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and get into the items that I had previously rolled into this project. So we're going to start off with the items that have been in this project since the intro. And the first one that I want to discuss with you guys today is my glow recipe. This is the hyaluronic glow there. Uh, what is this? The watermelon glow hyaluronic clay pore tight mask. To keep this brief, because again, I want to do reviews in empties videos. This is my favorite clay mask that I have tried. Now again, clay masks generally don't seem to be for my skin type, which is kind of like a, a normal, sometimes on the dry side. Um, this mask, of course, I did have some use on it for the first update, but that is where I am at now. And I just finished this within the week. So very excited about this. Um, and I enjoyed it. So this is something I would consider getting a full size of. Second empty. This is the second item. Yes, it is a full size item, but of course you'll want to check out my intro for the explanation of why I decided to roll it into the Advent Calendar Project. This is the Mary Kate Lip Liner in red. It is the lip color I am wearing today right now. And I am concerned that this is starting or just about to turn. It is drying out. And I don't know, I just, I've got a weird feeling about it, but I am making really good progress and it hasn't turned yet. So I do want to prioritize this and get it done because I want it to be an empty and not a declutter. So the first update, I used it four times, which not the best. I did up that. So for this update, I used it seven times, which then brings me to a total of 11 uses in this project. And as you guys can see, <laughs> this is moving very, very quickly. Obviously, as you guys can see, I do it all over the lips. This is the only thing I am wearing on my lips right now, just so you guys could kind of see it in action. But it is moving quickly, but I'm kind of glad of that. And there is not much use left. So that is very exciting that this can be done soon. The next item also that's been in there from the intro is my Viva La Juicy fragrance. Um, for those of you who are caught up on all of my other project pans, you know I have a bunch of fragrances rolled into projects right now. And I have been prioritizing other fragrances that are having their project due dates come up a little bit faster since this project does go until the end of the year. Despite that though, I have been making very consistent progress on this fragrance. Uh, so this is where it was in the intro, so it wasn't completely full. This is where I was last update, and of course that is where I am at now. I used it five times for the first update, five times for this update, giving me a total of 10 uses on this particular guy in the project. The one that doesn't seem to have movement. This is my nail polish. This is the Sephora Color Hit in the shade Cookie Break. It is what I am wearing on my nails in this video today. Uh, for those of you who are caught up on my project polish, you will know that I did include this on my nail wheel because I finally got one of these things going. It is, of course, that color right there. And I will be updating it more in that particular project. So learn my lesson about, you know, putting this in this project. I did want to pay homage to my project polish, but I found it contradicted too much. So I was wanting to reach for things I was trying to finish in project polish, and this kind of got backburnered a bit. So I'll do more of my updates there, but this is going to be a in the moment. This is where I'm at with it. So kind of in between my project polish update. I have used this polish for a total of nine times. For the last update, you guys will know that I was able to make a mark there. And I'm eight uses later and I'm still there. Now I did use it today, um, but when this does settle, the mark is a little bit below. So not very much, but you can see there is a tiny bit of movement in there, but not as much as I would have liked, especially considering last update where I was able to make a line after one use. I'm like, this polish is gonna go so quickly. 
No, it's not. It's going to be in here for the long haul. But again, stay tuned for Project Polish. You're going to get more consistent updates there. And moving forward with this project, I will still show you because it is in this project as well and show you the progress as of that particular moment. All right, now we're going to move on to the items that I had rolled in on my last update. So the first one, and this was actually really good timing for this item, that was my Smashbox, the photo finish primer. My goal with this one was to get about halfway. And I guess you can still kind of see a little bit of product in there, but I can't get this out. I have squeezed it. Um, I don't think it's worth cutting into for this. But this is done, and you'll get my review in empties. This Shea Body Butter, um, coming from the Body Shop, was another item that I had a goal on from my last update that I wanted to use up, and I did do that. This went very quickly. I only got like four uses out of this tub because, one, I'm generous with it, and two, I don't think the formulation was the best on this. So I am a little bit nervous because I do have some others of these. This came in a lovely gift that I got from a friend for Christmas this year. So if it's not so good, it's like, that's disappointing and I feel bad. Um, but I'll try some of the other ones, maybe roll those into projects and kind of see, was it just the Shea one that was a little bit off? Or is this kind of consistent with their um, 96 hour nourishing moisture? body butter so we'll see but this one also empty so was this one uh so this is my valentino this is my vogue via via this one this fragrance it is also completely done my marks have completely rubbed off apologies for that but i did just roll it in uh for the last update so there would have been a mark probably somewhere around here or so they're not always full all the way. I got a total of 16 uses on this one. So again, this was one of the fragrances I was prioritizing rather than the Viva one we looked at earlier. And this one is now done. I think I finished this about a week ago. So I'm very, very excited about another empty. Last month, you also saw me roll in this guy from the body shop as well, the Satsuma Puree Body Lotion. And in my last update, I was talking about how I was nervous having both of these, plus all of the other lotions I've got in projects. So it's like, oh, I don't know. I want to at least knock one of them out. Well, I knocked out both of them. It is completely empty in there, or at least as much as I'm able to get out of here. This scent, oh, was so good. I love these very kind of fruity scents. But the problem was, as I was using it more, like the scent on cold is great. But I, this is very old, so I think it may have been starting to go off because when I put it on my body, it wouldn't smell as good. Um, only 60 milliliters in here. The other one was 50, so got it all used up. It took a few more uses than the Shea one. I didn't count for this one in particular, though. But good progress was made on it, and I'm very excited to have it done, especially since it was seeming to go off. And finally, I did have a second mask in this project. So I was prioritizing the Glow Recipe one. Um, obviously, these masks have different purposes. The Glow Recipe was a clay one. This is from Pixie. This is their Vitamin C Caviar Balm Leave-On Mask. This is actually very easy to use and will be great for me in May um, in the mornings. Like, I do try to mask in the morning if I can. Um, and this is great because you can just throw it on, let it absorb into your skin, and then do all your other stuff later. Um, now, I didn't get into this until recently, so it was full when I started. And that seems to be mar the mark there. So it is very slow moving. So it is definitely moving, just it's going to be, I think, a long haul product for me because there is 15 milliliters in here, and a little bit does go a very long way with it. So a little bit of progress, and I am enjoying it. So super exciting. This month I was able to finish off five of the items in this project. So I had one from the first update, which brings me to a total of six out of 25 finished items. Doesn't sound as impressive when I say it that way, but I was really excited to be able to get all of these guys finished off. These are what are currently remaining, the lip liner, the fragrance, the nail polish, and the mask. These are going to be long-term products. These, if I focus on them, can get knocked out pretty quick. So what I'm going to do now is roll in some new items. Now, I realized when I was editing my last update, um, if I am rolling in five items at a time, which is what I had originally set out to do because I did start this project late, 
Um, that math means I'll be getting all of these in much sooner than I had thought. If I roll in five items, that brings me to 15 items out of the 25 having been rolled in. Now, leave me your thoughts in the comments down below because I personally am a little bit conflicted in this moment because on one hand, I want to keep rolling in a lot of stuff because then that gives me more flexibility with all of my other projects on how to use items. So for example, like the mask, that's going to be kind of more of a long-term kind of item. So it's nice to have extra time in here. And again, I don't really remember what I put into this calendar or where they got put in for the spaces that I had boxes for. I did have a buffer month planned out, but obviously my math was obviously very, very wrong. So on one hand, that's nice. On the other hand, it's like, I am enjoying this project. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, so then maybe more updates with rolling in is more exciting for you guys. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for today, I do think I am gonna roll in a decent amount of items, simply because we are down to four. And two of those, again, as long as I'm focusing in on them, I should be able to knock out fairly easily. Here, of course, is my box. Again, not everything is in a box because I didn't have all the boxes because I am a little bit difficult on them sometimes. So they ripped and they got recycled. But this is where we're at. And some of our sticky notes are for when we were reusing some of these boxes. So let's dive in. The first one I'm going to roll in is for number 11. So let's see what we've got in here. Okay, this is going to be easy to use up. This is a very tiny sample, only two milliliters. This is their Clarins Extra Firming Energy. This is a Glow Plus Complex. That sounds good to me. And Radiance Boosting, Wrinkle Control. It's a moisturizer. Ah, it's a firming day cream which helps reactivate skin's energy and radiance. Um, it's an anti-pollution complex apply in the morning. So another moisturizer for me to play with. Again, there's not much in here though, so that should be pretty easy to knock out. Let's reuse it again for item number 12. Um, item number 12 is one I'm a little bit nervous about. And that is this guy here. Um, so this is the Lancome, the Le Nuit Trezor. Uh, although I'm Canadian, I do not claim to be proficient in French at all. This is a precious perfumed body lotion. It has 50 milliliters of product in here. Smells decent, has a 12 month after opening shelf life. It is the same amount of product as I had in this Shea body butter we saw earlier, but because it's perfumed, that's what makes me nervous about this item. Cause it's like, how do you use this? Like it's a perfume, but it's a lotion. So you just slather it all over. You just do it in discreet places like you would a perfume. So I'm not really sure how to use this. And I don't know if I'd be using this at night because that's normally when I lotion after a shower. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to have to probably experiment, do a little bit of research because again, um, although I got this as part of like a gift with purchase set, I also don't want to waste this. So I am glad that this is rolling into this project now because that's going to give me a lot more time to play with this, especially now that we are basically entering summer. Like we have not had a Canadian spring at all. It was like minus 30 a couple weeks ago and now we're supposed to get to 27 today. I'd like some spring please, that would be nice, but... And without you let me get good use out of this item. It doesn't fit in a box, so we'll just pull it out like this. Uh, this is the Dr. Dennis Gross. This is their Advanced Retinol Overnight Texture Renewing Peel. There is one singular treatment in here to use in the evening. It tells us we're supposed to massage the peel pad into clean, dry skin. So, of course, because there's going to be a pad in here, I don't think there's going to be a whole bunch of extra serum or anything. So it's probably going to be literally just a one-time use item. And, of course, I want to use the rest of the brand products, which I do not have. But, yeah, that is that guy. So, again, it should be pretty easy to get finished. All right, item number 14. So little bit uh, broken on the top. I'm going to try to be careful. It's a heavy box. Okay. This comes to pharmacy. Now I remember um, I had put in one of these deliberately into the project because I have 
one more sample exactly like this one and a larger sample of this. So this is great that this is rolling in. This is the Honey Halo, their ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer. Small sample, we got nine milliliters in here, but that's still probably gonna last a decent amount. Um, so I'm excited to give this one a try. And if I like it, I've got two other backups. And if I don't like it, then I can uh, start giving those away so someone can get good use out of them. What it claims, it's supposed to be intense moisturizer. Okay, I like the sound of that. Replenishes dry, just distressed skin. Uh, gonna protect the moisture barrier and can be used AM or PM. So depending on how I wanna use this, we'll kind of play it by ear and find out. Now for the big decisions. I have rolled in four items thus far. Two of them I think are gonna be a little bit more long haul, potentially, um, especially with my other projects. But two of them are gonna be like literally single use items. So I think, I think I'm gonna roll in one more item. I think I'm gonna do it. The last item I'm gonna roll in, it doesn't have a box, unfortunately. Um, so this is something I am curious about. And I do have, I believe, another sample of this. Uh, this is the first Id Beauty, the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA, and it is safe for sensitive skin. So we've got a decent sample here. So 28.3 uh, grams, so lots of product in here. Um, I had used a similar kind of product to this, the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, which I didn't like the smell of. I thought it smelled bad. Um, it was the honey and prickly pear and just mm -mm, didn't do it for me. And it, probably because of the AHA. But this is going to be actually pretty appropriate for the nicer weather, right? Starting to wear you know, shorts, skirts, dresses. So this is a good time to start rolling this in and playing with it. And again, this is more of a treatment, whereas a lot of the other items that I have in projects, including this one, are just simple moisturizers. So we'll see how I play with this one into my routine and kind of see what my opinion of this guy is. So five new roll-ins, I'm pretty excited about it. So let's take a moment and talk about goals for the next month. Obviously, the goal is going to be to progress on everything, and some of these things I do think is going to take a little bit longer to do so, but the ones that I'm going to aim to finish are these four right here and probably the super obvious stuff. Starting with the lip liner, again, just a tiny little bit left, so I just want to get it done, knocked out. That'll be very exciting. I do think I am going to focus on this fragrance. Again, you guys are seeing that very consistent progress. I've been making good work on it. I imagine up to 15 uses, probably in that 10 to 15 range, which isn't bad. Um, and I'm thinking I hopefully should be able to do that. I do have one other fragrance, little tiny spoiler, and another project that is getting very, very close to finishing. So I do want to prioritize that first. What I'm anticipating is just going to be a couple more uses on that. And then I can kind of transition over and focus on this guy a lot more. Then obviously more of the single use items. This is definitely going to be a single use. So that's going to be really easy to knock out for the Dr. Dennis Gross. And then of course the Clarins. It's just a small sample. So let's just kind of keep that ball moving. Keep items going out. Two milliliters of sample in here. So I might get a day or two out of it. We'll kind of see how much I need. So even though I have day moisturizers that I'm working on. And that I like to prioritize as well. This is just going to be so easy to knock out, so I don't want it hanging around. But that is everything. So we are able to make really, really good progress on a lot of these items. There are now six finished out of the 25 as of our second update here. And I've set some goals for next time. Again, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. How do you want me to progress with rolling things in moving forward? Do you want me to keep rolling them in at this very large pace? Do you want me to dial back just a little bit? Or do you want me to dial it back a fair amount so that we're able to kind of keep this going all the year? So essentially, do you want me to potentially, good, okay, depending how other projects go, potentially finish this project up a little bit earlier than December? Or do you want me just to kind of go at it and just balance it with my other projects? And if I finish early, then great. Let me know your thoughts about that down below. And any other thoughts you have about this project and the progress I've been able to make or the products that I have in this project. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.